Welcome to another iTouch Guru tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to connect to your iPod Touch's file system through SFTP. First, you're going to want to go to filezellaproject.org. The link will be in the description so you don't have to worry about memorizing that or anything. And then, after that's installed and everything, you're going to want to go to your settings. After you go to settings, click the Wi-Fi tab. When your Wi-Fi net wi network shows up, click the little uh, blue arrow, and then you'll have an IP address. Mine happens to be 192.168.2.2. After you get that IP address, you can go into FireZilla which is the program that's being run right here that you should install. You're going to want to go to File, Site Manager. After you get there, make a new site. There's a new site button right there. Make a new site. And you're going to want to make the host, that IP that you entered, in my case it's 192.168.2.2 so I'm going to put that in then you're going to click SFTP using SSH2 logon type normal user root and the password will be alpine I'll have this posted in the description as well then you just click connect it's going to ask to store key in cache you're just going to click yes to that and there you go, there's your iPod's file system. And sorry for those quick noises, that's just me adjusting the tripod. Um, so you have your library, media, all, all that good stuff. You can browse to your root directory. Or the, uh, the I don't know how to explain this directory, but it's basically the root directory. Um, then, then you have your applications folder where all the apps that you installed are. All right, and if you cannot connect, here's what you got to do. If you're already connected, there's no point in watching the rest of this video. Sorry about that. Now, uh, once you're an installer, you're going to go to install, and then scroll down to system, which is right here. And then in here, you're going to find something right at the top. I already installed it, so it's not there for me. It's called BSD Subsystem. You're going to click on that, and you're just going to install that. It's going to take a while. After you install that, it's gonna um, you're gonna just, cl just click your home button. It'll crash your springboard, and you'll go right back to your uh, springboard. And then you go back into installer, and then you install this program called Term Dash VT 100. Just install that. It's really small. It takes not that big of amount of time to install and download and then you're gonna click your home button it's gonna crash your springboard and just unlock your uh, iPod go right back in and there you go you got term VT10 right there okay looks like it's working perfect alright and then you're gonna get off of a uh, term just you, you can keep this up I'm just gonna move my iPod down here and now you're gonna go on to the computer okay you're gonna go to start run and you're just gonna type in CMD click enter it's gonna bring up a um, command prompt okay and uh, it's going to be black and white for you. I just changed this color. And there you're going to type in IP config. I'll put all this in the description. Click enter. And there you go. You got your IP to your computer right here. Okay. Um, once you get that IP, you're going to go right into um, term. Once you're in term, You're just going to type the following command. I'll uh, put it in the video description. But you're going to type ping, P 
P-I-N-G space 192.168.2.6 okay and that's the uh, IP address that you got from the command prompt okay then you're just going to click return it's going to say ping 192.168.2.6 Okay, and um, that means that you have a connection established both ways from your iPod to your computer and your computer to your iPod. All right? If that does not work, then you um, go back onto your iPod, go into your settings, um, go into your Wi Fi, click on the little blue arrow, look for your IP. In my case, again, it's 192.168.2.2. And put your iPod down, go back onto your computer. And here you're going to type the same thing that you did there, except with the uh, iPods, I think. Ping 192.168.2.2. Enter. And we have a connection that way. Now that might open up the connection so you can now connect to. SFTP more easily and it just connects right through. I hope this works for you and this has been another episode of I, I Touch Guru.